Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For this video, we are going to discuss subpractice 3.1c and 3.1d. Okay, this is a question one. Combine the following statement P and Q by using the word given in the bracket to form compound statement. So, just add the word or for the first statement and for the second statement and and for the C use the word and so 2 or 3 is a prime factor of the number 6 B a cone has one vertex and one plane C a rhombus and the trapezium are parallelograms Okay, number two. Determine the truth values of the following compound statement. So, A. So, this is the word N. As I mentioned in my previous video, you have to look at the first statement and the second statement. For the first statement, 49 is a multiple of 7. This is a true statement. For the second statement, 49 is the perfect square. This is also true statement. So, the answer will be true because both of them are true statement. B. 3 hours equals to 120 minutes. Okay, the word end here. So, 3 hours equals to 120 minutes. Is it this is true or false? So this is false statement because 3 hours equals to 180 minutes. 4 minutes equals to 240 seconds. 1 minute 60 seconds, so 4 minute 240, this is true statement. Okay, same this is N. If got only one false, it become false statement. C. The coefficient of 9x is 9. So, the, the word is N here. So, the coefficient of 9x is 9. So, this is true statement. 9 to the power of 0 equals to 0. Hmm, this is a false statement. Because... 9 to the power of 0 equals to 1. So, when the word end here, if 1 false, then it becomes false statement. For D, also word end, 3 subset of 1 to 5. So, this is false. Because 3 are not in this set. 9 and uh, 8 and 9 subset of 6, 7, Eight. This is also false because element 9 is not there. So, this is false statement. When both false, then it becomes false statement. E, F, G and H all using the word or. So, the first mm, for E. 2 over 9 can be expressed as a recurring decimals. 2 over 9 can uh, can be expressed as a recurring decimal. This is true. true uh, 2 over 9 is less than 1. This is also true. So, when both true, it becomes true statement. 4 over 5 is a proper fraction. This is true. 5 over 4 is a proper fraction. This is false. Because 5 over 4 is improper fraction. So, when the word or here, if 1 true, it becomes true statement. 6 
is an odd number. So this is false. 8 is an odd number. Also false. Because both are even number. So when both fall, then it become false statement. H, fourth root of 64 equals to 2. So this is false statement. You can use your calculator to check this. 2 cube equal to, equals to 8. This is true statement. So, when one statement is true, it becomes true statement. Okay. Next, self-practice 3.1D. Question number 1. Form an implication if P then Q with the given antecedent and consequent. P is antecedent. Q is consequent. So, you just write the answer. For A, if X equals to 3, then just use the word if antecedent of P, then Q is consequent. So, this is very easy question. So, this is all the answer. You can check your answer now. Next, question number two. Determine the antecedent and consequent. So, this is also the, uh, the this is also an easy question. You just look at the word if. After the word if, this is antecedent. After the word then, this is consequent. So, this is all the answer. For A, B, C, and D. Next, question number three. Form an implication if P. Form an implication P if and only if Q with the following implication. So, just take the first uh, sentence, uh, first statement. So, this is P and this is Q. So, in the middle, just add if and only if. So, this is the answer for A, B, C and D. So, this is P. Just add the word if and only if in the middle. And this is Q. Same goes to B, C, and D. This is also a very easy question. Next, question number four. Write two implication based on the implication P if and only if Q. So, you just look at the word if and only if. So, before the, before the word if and only if, this is P. After the word if and only if, this is Q. So, your implication will be the first one, the first implication if P, then Q. The second implication, if Q, then P. So, this is the answer. First one, if P, then Q. Next, if Q, then P. So, this is P. This is Q. Same goes to B, C, and D. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope you understand. Thank you and see you in the next video.